Good morning. Um, told you I'd be back. Um, I know you're seeing a shadow here and there is like literally nothing I can do. Uh, maybe. Maybe that. I don't know if I'll be able to reach my project. Um, <clears throat> there's literally nothing I can do to stop the shadow. Basically, literally nothing I can do to stop the shadow. Um, <clears throat> so, I have a stamped image, stamped embossed stamped image in front of me. And I thought I would just chat with you. I'm going to try out a product that I have that I'm going to try out a couple of different ways. Um, I got the, whoops, I'm bouncing you, I'm sorry, make you sick. The um, Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. Um, <coughs> excuse me, got a little bit of allergies going on. I bought these shortly after I started out doing mixed media stuff. And I was... I am one of those people who has got to have absolutely everything. I'm, I just can't live without having it. If I see it, I have to figure out a way to have it. So this was one of those things that I saw somebody on a video use and I fell in love with, had to have them. And two things, one, I didn't know what to do with them. And two, mine were, my. I got a package of 48 or 42 or whatever, however they come, 42 I guess it was. And mine were almost all dried up. <coughs> so I basically put them on the back of my desk and said, yeah, no. Um, so I didn't use them and I didn't use them and I ended up sending them back to Amazon and telling them that they were all dry and I couldn't use them. And So I've recently started playing around with card making or at least attempting to learn card making and um, I've been watching people on card making using these. So I guess I can talk and attempt to talk and work at the same time. I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to attempt it. So, <clears throat> um, kind of thinking I like these again. So, what I'm going to do is, um, see if I can color this image in. I've got it stamped out on watercolor paper and um, I'm going to it's um, a water reactive marker so I've got it stamped out on watercolor paper and I'm going to try to color in my images I think I'm going to use this one. And the nice thing about these is that they are blendable, or they're supposed to be blendable, um, with other colors. Again, like I said, I used them quite a while ago and wasn't impressed with them then. I did not use them on watercolor paper. I have since learned that they work a hundred times better using them on watercolor paper. So we shall find out. <coughs> so how's everybody's weekend going? I hope wonderfully. Um, I have my kids coming over late afternoon, early evening. Um, my daughter is moving out of state. 
um, this week, and um, which I'm, I guess I'm happy for her. A um, little sad for myself, but happy for her. Um, so I'm not quite sure when I will be seeing her again. So. <clears throat> she's coming over they're, they're coming over for um, her favorite homemade baked macaroni and cheese and um, brownies and maybe some ice cream we'll see um, yesterday I just kind of had a did some errands in the morning, grocery shopping, that kind of thing. Um, today I'm just trying to get a little bit organized. So my first way of doing this is with the water brush. And I don't have decent water brushes. I've only got a couple of real cheapy, cheapy ones. So we'll see if it, yeah, it's, it's just, um, kind of pooling. Let's try this other water brush, see if this works any better. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit better. Um, I do need to get out. In the next week or so and get myself a decent water brush if I'm going to be using these which looks like I'm enjoying it so far I like the way the color lays out um, I'm real fascinated with watercolors so I'm, I'm loving the looks of watercolors, and I'm no drawer, drawer, painter, colorer, no. I know how to color, kind of, um, but I don't know how to draw. So, coloring inside stamped images, though, is pretty cool. I hope you all are having a good weekend. What are you all doing? Got good plans for the day? I don't know about where you live, but here it's a um, beautiful day. We had thunderstorms yesterday, but today it's looking like a beautiful day. It's all sunny out. A little cool, but um, I'll take sunny and cool over sunny and <clears throat> hot, hot. I'm not a hot, hot person at all, um, although hot, hot is better than, um, is this the orange I used, darn it, I don't, yeah, it is, um, hot, hot is better than 20 below zero by any means. I lived in Texas, well I didn't live, I, I visited Texas a couple of times in July and August, and let me tell you, that's mighty hot, hot weather. And not only is it hot, hot weather, but it's humid, like unbearably humid. Um, lived in Florida for a short while, and again, that humid <coughs> yeah very humid um, I don't like humidity oh, I need better lighting in this room if I'm going to be doing this stuff that's for certain I think I may have to go out and buy myself a clip on lamp or something 
because I can barely see what I'm doing. And I apologize again for any shadowing that you guys were dealing with. And by the way, I wanted to thank you all for the warm welcome back that I got. You're coming back to doing videos because, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I was not sure when I um, left whether I would ever come back to making videos. I um, was not happy with my mixed media stuff. I wasn't happy with how where I was going with that. Um, wasn't happy with myself. Wasn't happy with a lot of things in life. And I just didn't know that I would be back into <coughs> doing any kind of anything artsy. So that I'm doing this is kind of fun and that I got such a warm welcome back from everybody was just so nice. Really surprised me. I, I figured everybody had dropped off my subscription and um, I didn't know anybody would be around. You guys just are amazing. You guys are just wonderful people. Um, I appreciate it. Just as so I know that those of you who have YouTube channels appreciate the rest of us, you know, being around for you. I I know, you know, it's, it's appreciated. We all like, you know, to have our family and our friends support us. I mean, the best message I got the other day from my from my welcome back video was from my son from my own son I mean I love getting everybody's welcome back but my own son's like hey mom I'm really glad to see you're back and I'm glad to see you creating again and um you know he's he's bitched and gripe but sorry for me swearing but you know me I've got a potty mouth so um if you're here for an ultra clean, no potty mouth video, then you're not going to get it from me. Um, I tend to have a little bit on the potty mouth side. Um, but anyway, he, he's always been bitching about me buying supplies and buying supplies and not using them. So... <clears throat> After I posted that video the other day, he said, so does this mean you're going to start using your supplies that you've been buying? And I laughed. I said, well, you'll just have to watch my videos and find out, won't you? So I don't know how long this... Um, marker sits on the um, paper. I know I say um all the time too. Sorry. How long it sits on the paper before it sinks in, before I have to blend it. I really have no idea. We're going to find out. Some of these I want to pull out a little bit further. Sunflower is one of my favorite flowers. Because this is an embossed paper, and you know, I've I've done the heat embossing, I don't have to worry too much about the um, color running outside of the lines. I mean, it will if I put too much water on, but not too badly. This is a great, great way to um, 
learn a little bit about watercolors. At least for me it is. So yeah, my new thing is cards. I'm I'm just playing around with them and learning um, I have a few people who I'm really inspired by with cards um, Didi Dye's Crafty Corner Diane um, I would say that she has been one of my biggest inspirations for card making. Um, she's incredible. She's an incredible person. She's very down to earth. <coughs> she's um, friendly. She's helpful. Um, She's just been a real inspiration to me. Um, really enjoyed watching her videos, and she's she's actually the one who <coughs> inspired me to try my hand at, at cards, at making cards. Um, So, Diane, if you're watching this, thank you. Um, and if you're um, at all interested in making cards or, or giving it a shot, I really would love to encourage you to to um, go check out her channel. It's Didi Dice Crafty Corner. I think it's called... Um, if somebody were to teach me how to do editing and stuff, I would be able to... Um, well, actually, I think that much I can do myself. I can post a link. Um, I was going to say I could show you how to get you to her channel, but I know how to post a link down below in the description. So there's my flowers. I'm going to put the stems on and the centers and I'll color in my ladybug. I think this is the green I want. Yeah. Oops, I went outside the line. And you know what? It's a handmade card. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't have a real steady hand. I never have. And that's... <coughs> You know, just part of my life, part of who I am. I don't have a steady hand. So coloring inside the lines for me is real good if you've got embossing powder. These do have a really fine tip on them. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a real fine tip. So coloring inside the lines isn't quite as bad. I'm going to put a little bit of green in the centers. Not a lot, a little bit. God, I hate allergies. I had allergies because of all the rain that we had yesterday. I'm trying to find the color that I want. I want just a light brown for the center, but I'm. Yeah, it'd be easier taking them all out. <clears throat> Maybe this. <laughs> yeah, this looks nice. 
So guys, this will go on a card base. I'll probably put it on a green card base. Um, <coughs> and then ship it in the mail to somebody. I have no idea at this point who that somebody will be. Maybe it'll be you. It just might be. Might be your lucky day. Oh, that's a black. Look brown on the lid. Oh, it's a very black black. Boy, on the lid it was a brown. This, my friends, is why you swatch out everything. And I've got, I've started swatching them out over at the sofa. And I said, oh, I'll swatch them out later. Yeah, well. You know where I'm going next from here. To swatch these babies out. Because... I wanted brown and not black for the centers of these, but too late now. Too late now. Maybe I can go over it with a little bit of brown though. Like a light brown. That's a gray. Yeah, much easier to see when they're out of the box. Here's a brown. We have a light brown. Now I'm wishing I'd gotten the bigger package. There's a light brown. Can it, actually. Ah, now I'm dropping them all. No, I don't think this is going to work. I'm going to have to go in with the darker brown. Which way did I put it? Yeah, that, might... that might work. Fixes it a little bit. Not perfect, but a little bit. Better than it was. Better than that black. Definitely want to use watercolor paper when doing this. I've, um, been wiping these off or, or testing these, color, swat, color testing them on regular copy paper and they absorb right in like instantly into the paper and gives you no time so there's my card base my card front so that'll dry off in no time and the next one that I'm going to do, which I'll do off camera and maybe show to you the next time. Again, there's a shadow. Get that without a shadow. There we go. A little bit less shadow. Um, I did not do the heat embossing on this. So that should be interesting let me see what i can see if i can get it started it's just going to be pink roses with really you just have to color and then stay within the lines for the water brush 
And this I'm going to come in with my, um, another one of my toys that I absolutely had to have and have barely touched using it, is the, um, <coughs> Skinner Cut. Absolutely had to have that. And I have barely touched using that. This is pretty. This um, water brush puts out too much water. I'm actually going to try something different. See if it makes any difference at all using a regular paintbrush. And it does, because you can control at least better than the cheap water brushes. You can control how much water is on your brush. Yeah, this one I will work on off camera and I'll um, cut it up with my skin and cut and I'll um, try to remember to show it to you the next time I'm doing a video. If not, you're you want to see it before then, check out me on Instagram. I try to put my stuff on Instagram when I do manage to do anything. Like I said, I haven't done much of anything in so long. <clears throat> so, um, the other way, another way that you can use these markers if I've got any, is to paint onto plastic and paint off from that. I'm going to paint right on this box. This is a box. Um, that's textured. I wanted to try that method. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. And I do hope that you have a great day. I've got to finish this off. And then finish the cards up. And um, get ready to have my family over this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will chat at you later. Bye.